Hey, this is Vinny. Welcome to another episode of my kitchen, Vinny's Kitchen. We are getting into winter time and we need some comfort food here because it's going to be cold. Uh, especially Mo, being that we're going to Missoula, Montana for New Year's. It's going to be freaking cold up there. So, what better way to heat you up than some comfort food? Uh, I'm going to cook some Italian comfort food tonight. It's an Italian goulash. It's goulash. But it's really not. I mean, we call it goulash because that's the how it was. That's what we called it. Um, it's kind of like bolognese. It's kind of like meat sauce. But we call it goulash because it's just a little bit different. So we're cooking some goulash here. Or meat sauce, whatever you want to call it. Turn on the stove, medium heat. A little olive oil. Two or three tablespoons. Uh, we're going to throw in some hot Italian sausage, some ground beef, about a half pound of each for what we're making here. Get these browning up. going to throw in some, again, I'm cheating with the garlic. I would say about three <coughs> cloves of garlic, which is going to amount to about a tablespoon and a half or so because this is a big friggin' spoon, so uh, about that. In this particular dish, one medium onion, coarsely chopped, a couple stalks of celery, coarsely chopped, and a couple of carrots, coarsely chopped. So basically you're putting the holy trinity, or well, you're putting the maripois in with the meat. So we'll get that browned up, we'll spice it, and get it going. All right, so we got our meat browned here. We are going to make our sauce. Got to add a little basil. Fresh basil is best, but I don't have any, so I'm going to make uh, use the dried, which is fine. It really, when you heat the food, it it tastes good either way. And a little uh, parsley. Throw some red wine in it. can of good Italian imported San Marzano tomatoes. They just taste the best. I can't, I can't say it enough. So there's that. And we'll stir it up. What happened to my spoon, Paul? There it is. with bolognese, meat sauce, goulash. I always kind of throw a dash of nutmeg in. Um, some bolognese, they put a little more and they add cream to it, not so much tomato. It's a little more of the meat, the wine, a little bit of tomato, nutmeg. Um, this is more of a goulash, it's more of a meat sauce. Just a dash of nutmeg, no cream. But um, there you have your bowl, your your bolognese or your what I'm gonna call Italian goulash. Gotta let it cook for a little while. We're gonna throw some pasta on the stove and uh, see you in a few minutes. All right, so we have uh, I'm feeding eight people here, so we're gonna cook two pounds of pasta. I, I actually mixed pastas. I got some gemelli in here with some uh, with some penne. Uh, you know, basically, the way you want to cook pasta is you boil the water, you add the salt. You want the salt to be salty enough to be like seawater. So it's got to be salty. Otherwise, you know, that you don't add a lot of salt to your dish. You didn't see me add salt to my dish because I don't usually. But salt's in the water, pasta becomes salty. Um, when you cook it 8 to 10 minutes, you don't want to overcook it. You want it to be just to have a little. Uh, al dente, you want it to be just a touch, just a little bit of texture to it, a little crunch to it. Um, we'll mix it all together and uh, we will enjoy. See you in a minute. So we're plating this pasta here, just mixing a little in to the pasta to get everything incorporated. Then I will throw it all over the top. 
we just want to get a little mixed in and kind of just incorporates everything. And then we top it. So this is our goulash. I'm going to serve with that. It's going to be hot. We are cooking comfort food in Vinny's kitchen in honor of our New Year shows in Missoula, Montana. It's going to be freaking cold. It's going to be comfortable. We need comfort food. Goulash. Enjoy. See you in Missoula. Yes, thank you guys. Salud. Peace.